Hello everyone, I'm Kichigo and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. So in the last episode we made it to Renid. Um, it was talking around at the first port, at this port. Um, and we did, uh, did a card game that I was not very good at. And now we're actually going to speak to who we're supposed to uh, speak to. Um, but let's check on our expedition. Take a look at this. Nice. There's no better victory than a safe return. Great. Let's do this one run get you style, guys. Man, I still haven't gotten the... Scout ship setting sail. Man, the percentage for that must be really low. Uh, let's see. I can get to it from this way. Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's Scourge, by any chance. Maybe. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock right now. How can you be out of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested. And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. They what? Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. First the Corsair Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's Curse, eh? Uh. Well, I could try to order some from other towns, but if you're already on day three, then might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. But the demon... The, n n Hey, there's more exclamation points, probably because we spoke to him. Salatoma flowers that grow in walk forests are a surefire cure for Carthage Scourge. But they, but there are nasty demons roaming about, and you shouldn't trend where the Abbey doesn't want you to. Anyway, I'm afraid going in there is a bad idea. We are all about bad ideas. Dad, I can't take it anymore. I can't deal with life in this village. There you go, with the whining again. Those two, they seem to be rather upset. Best stay out of it! They're going at it hammer and tongs! The phrase is hammer and tongs. I'm not whining. It's been ten years and the village is no better off than when we started. Every year it gets colder, and every year our harvest gets worse. And the risk of demon blight hasn't gone away. Your point? Compared to other regions, Westgand has fewer cases of demon blight. Other areas are suffering worse from the cold and the demons. I'd say we're better off here than anywhere else. You're saying we're lucky that all we have to worry about is cultivating this inhospitable land? Don't be so impatient. We'll see results. Westgand has incredible potential. If we keep working this land, eventually it will become a prosperous place. Maybe not now. But in a hundred years or a thousand, our descendants will have joy and plenty. That's enough for me. There you go again. Who cares about ancestors? I'm talking about... Good man, your words have moved me. As an exorcist, I promise to work my hardest to end the demon blight and help people like you find security. Oh, thank you for your kind words, young exorcist. Then I have a request. How about you start helping by marrying this fool son of mine? What? Ever since his lover gave him the slip, he's been whining like this non-stop. I'm... What? Very sorry, but that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Hmm. Interesting that he said the hundred and thousand years when this ga game takes place a thousand years before Toes of So, when we go out, I'm gonna have to see, like, if it actually reminds me of where we've been. Like, it's West again where Tuzzle's Asteria uh, took place. Uh, we should have already cleared parts of Warg Forest for farmland by now. But it's cold all the time and Demon Blight is rampant and I can't find a wife. It's just dismal. 
That's just pathetic. What would you, your father say? Wait, I am your father. Anyway, this is no time to be given up. No ladies out there like a quitter. I'm sorry, but... The boat, like, this is the father, right? Or is this the father? Ooh! I would think that this is the son and this is the father. Cause that, this guy over here looks kind of, uh, old. <laughs> okay, and another exclamation point. The demon of Warg Forest? Yeah, I heard about it. It's been the talk of the town around here lately. My guess is it's some kind of invisible demon. Scary, right? Yeah. An invisible demon? A bunch of exorcists got together to hunt the demon, but they couldn't find it. If it's not invisible, then maybe it's so fast they couldn't see it, or too small for them to notice. What kind of watch are they keeping on the forest now? Shouldn't you know? You're an exorcist too, right? Yes, but my duties take me from place to place, and I don't know the details of the demon hunts in this area. I see. I don't really know the details myself either, but I hear the exorcists are patrolling in shifts. Interesting. It sounds like they still might not have a good lead on what this demon is. Please hurry. Find that demon and get rid of it. We won't feel safe until it's gone. You have my word. We'll do everything we can. We're here to find Salitoma. Sorry, but we don't have time to go demon hunting. I know. Hmm. I won't go near Walk Forest, whether the Abbey allows it or not. But there are lots of different beetles there. Rhinoceroses and stags and whatnot. There are insect freaks who love that sort of thing, and they came here to go catch bugs in the woods. Well, they ended up fighting over who caught what, and there was even some blood shed. What? So that place is creepy in a lot of different ways. Oh, what? Okay, whatever. Okay, time to head out then. Burns of Nog. Man, it is raining. Oh, it's the little mud thingy. Dude. Hmm. But there's a monster there. An alert one. Gotta wait for this guy to... Uh-huh. There we go. Mud slime! Command your allies in battle, then quickly press R3 again to cancel. Hold R3 and press L1 to give the order to go all out. You just now giving us that? Oops, my bad. R3... Oh. Huh. Everyone attack. You're fighting the leader. Let's go. No why no bad stuff. For some reason. But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form 0. Hold on. Must slime. Wind. Must slime. Okay, so that's that one. Mm. I forgot that I had this one. I've used this seven times. Okay. Rise. 
go. Ow! Stop burning me! Ow! Oh! Leave me here, man. Also, we twinned. Yeah, I think I only have that one. Last Samurai. So that's not a new title. It's um a new star. Ooh, Fluorite Blade. A stabbing blade and laid with fluorite is beauty lifts the spirit. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, going around. Oh, it's those witches. Okay, I think they're doing a lot more paralysis. So let me see. We're still working on the flame ward. Huh. Mystic Arts. Some Mystic Arts are a higher class and cause 4 BG. Require a combo of 8 or higher. But they also increase maximum BG by 1 when learned and provide 2 souls after use. It may seem like they require 8 souls to perform, but including break souls within a combo will help fulfill the requirement. Since damage from Mr. Garth is affected by the greater of the user's attack and art attack and the lesser of the target's defense and art defense, they are highly effective damage dealers. Okay. So I got a new Mystic Art. Uh, Annihilating Crash. Hold L2 during an 8 hit or higher combo. Consumes 4 BG. Use Break Soul to connect combos. Uh. Okay, so I came from here. Mm-hmm. 
Aw, oh, man. Are you doing one of those things? There we go. Break soul, dragon dive. Hold R2 with three or more souls while aerial during draconic drive to activate. This has a follow-up attack to draconic drive, after which Aizen would land, providing him the opportunity to chain the break soul into a combo. Okay. Alright, I forgot. Form 5 Scatter Burst. Evokes a seal and blasts concentrated air forward. The impact travels through foes. And we never read these. Uh, takes a parry stance, increases the stun rate. Okay. Okay, this is the one that we just read, though. A lot of uh, Gist Dragon, though. So wait, what was... Hmm. Gliding Blast. Merges with a gar guardian and glides across the ground. Mm. Okay, I think I got rid of everyone. Whew. I don't know why I was dying so much. I need to pay attention more. Oh. Kinda reminds me of the wetlands. Hey Laffy said, what's the Reaper's curse Magilu was talking about? Supposedly, Aizen's presence has the power to bring misfortune to the people around him. Is that some sort of special Moloch power or something? It's worse than mere misfortune. At Vortigern, there was a sudden mass outbreak of demon blight, and many of his fellow crew died on his watch. I find that a little hard to believe, honestly. The Reaper's curse is all too real! It was the Reaper's curse that tore me from you and got me captured by Miss Mogilu! Oh, is... is that so? I missed you so much! The hazy, halcyon days when I would blow on your cheeks to make your tears dry up! Hey! That's not... It must be destiny that we've been reunited! How I wish I could return to your side once more! Do what you want. I don't care. Really? I won't stop you. Maybe she wants a Moloch who freely divulges a young girl's secrets. I'm fine, thank you very much. I've already got Lofi set to look after as it is. Aw, no fair! Is he the one who blows on your tears now when you cry? He most certainly does not. And as of right now, you're a stranger to me. Ooh. Yes! <sighs> what? Just so we're clear, Lafayette will do no blowing on any cheeks. Of course not! <laughs> but, I mean, not that it ever happened in the first place anyway. Just forget it! Ah, yet another victim of the Reaper's curse! Ha! <sighs> I do know that, like, when it's the grassy areas, it's really hard to see stuff. Which is weird. Oh, it's one of those skunks. Okay, let's go around this way. Um, let me see if I can get this witch over yonder. Yonder! Yonder! Woo! Not worth my time. Perfect. <laughs> 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 
She really floats like a butterfly. Stings like a bee, and... Wait, there's more? Is there more? Ooh, a shock ward. Oh, so you became a thingy? Okay. I'll finish this quick. Oh, what? Can you stop that? Nothing can stop these fists. Okay, so she's done. Oh, chocolate. It literally looks like a chocolate. That's cool. Oh. Maybe I can get these two. Ooh. Uh, strike sway. Hold R2 with three or more souls during aerial strike to activate. Eleanor will perform a multi-stage attack into the air. This ability restores more HP than aerial strike, making it very useful when low on HP. Oh, expedition. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Take a look at this. Can we please get the last question mark? Is that it? Stalwart crab shell. Oh wow. We finally got it. Okay, so let's do the Norman Islands. These seas are said to be the Norman homelands. Norman homelands. A handful of ancient Malik ruins still remain on these islands where the capital of the world once stood. Scout ship setting sail. Okay. Did I miss anything here? Yep, I didn't go all the way back. Rosemary. Was that our first Rosemary? No. Yeah, there's a sparkling butterfly over there. Eleanor, are you feeling all right? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember, the Reaper's curse is no joke. Is Ison's curse even real? I'm having trouble believing in it. You never know. Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Muggy Lou, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace. Or that Eisen made a stopover on an island and the men there caught demon blight. Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation. Please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. It was seven warships. Everyone on the island, not just men, caught demon blight. And the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. Uh. <laughs> Hold me. But as far as the Corsair's scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. They're not gonna be in bloom. <laughs> the one part of the season that they're not in bloom. Even though they should be. Oh, so that's the path of the year. Okay, let's look at the map here. So if I keep on going this way, 
Uh, technically all the paths lead to the Burnag Plateau. Which at least seems like I've been to already. Huh. Uh... Well, we're not even in Warg Forest. We're in the Fangs of Nog, Secluded Waters. So I have a feeling that this part over here is where we have to go. So I'm gonna keep going this play uh this way to have this cleared out. Are you gonna come all the way? Ooh. Looks like you wanna die. Yeah. Okay, now I have to get oh, these guys are already next to each other. Alright. And get the stuff. So how do I get over there eventually? Oh, I, I see. Might as well, you're the only one here. Chocolate bar. Oh. Well, that about does it. Anything else? Nope. Lulu doll. A guardian that seems vaguely feline. Hmm. Okay, so for Gary, let's go to the oh no, that's going to the other side. So let's go. The exorcists are holding exercises ar uh, around Lothrigan. No one is allowed any further until they're finished. Okay, good to know. There, there are five treasure chests in this area. Oh, there's one over there. Okay. Oh! See me. All right, let's get this right here. What are the five treasure chests? Because um, that was pretty thorough over there. Near the entrance. Hmm. Okay, so that's all on this little island. Um, how do I get over there? Okay. 
Because I saw how to get over here, but... Is there a rock? No. There was no rock on the other side. Hmm. Maybe I need to write this one down. Where's the... Oh. So we are... So there is a gap in Ferns of Nog. There's a gap. So I won't be able to get all the treasure chests. So wait, so I hope I didn't miss anything. Let me just quickly go back. Oh crap, they came back. Oh. I'll finish this now. Do I have one, Magalu? Oh, that would explain why she's not getting shocked <laughs> as much. Life bottle, because we need that. I was dying a bit here. So we already know what one of the treasure chests is. So then that just means two more treasure chests. And the throw make women's shoes that increase focus. Uh, let's see, does anyone need that on? Yep. Hmm. 
Oh, so it is just only those. Okay, let's see. Get it. Take a look at this. Rock salt and small conqueror statue. This recipe looks real tasty. First squeeze Norman carrots. Norman are not food. If you squeeze them, you would not get any vegetable juice. Okay. Scout ship setting sail. Alright, so I'll be able to use that to enhance some equipment. I wish it would like put on here which ones are new because I don't remember which ones are new or not which is why I just gave up on it like maybe I'll go through it at the end of the game or something just to look at all the ones that I do have Uh, double haze rushes to a foe, stabbing, stabbing once, and then s seems to pass right through them to strike again. And Arctic peels pierces foes with a blizzard of hardened paper, has a chance to knock down targets. Where is it? Okay, so that's everything here. And then that leaves out, but I want to get these cat spirits. There we go. Oh, there's an the item there. Okay, and then let's quick save. I forgot what she was. I mean, like, other than a fiend and winged. I probably would still need to change stuff. Warpike, a spirit that has undergone many improvements on the battlefield. Let's see, 27. Wing, fiend, wing, demon, human. Fire. Fire. That's a lot of stuff, though. Hold on. So I can do winged and demon, human. Uh, 
there's fire here. Uh, demon human and winged. So let me see. Maybe use follow nans instead. This one first. Uh, Another winged? No. Are they still all here? Oh, she's the only one. Okay. So wait, is that why... So do I have to do it in that... Mm, hold on. So maybe I need to switch them over to doing like the category first. Do that one. Woo! There we go. Thank you. Oh. Did you think you could escape? I me? did something. <laughs> a pressure event tight. Further increases damage inflicted during a weak point combo on moderate difficulty or higher. Oh, we're out of food. Okay, let's see. Garlic. Did we have to get... Yeah, I think we had to get garlic. Hmm. Oh, you still don't have your second skill? Oh, okay. Well, we actually need this, but... Alright. I'll do the cooking. Probably should have been had that on. Time a meal.
Okay, now I can really actually save. And then before we go in here, we're gonna call that it for the episode. Let me check behind these trees. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Because doesn't it look like when we go into that electric forest or something? After going into blistered wet wetlands? Anyway, go save that for next time. So with that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night. And this is Kichigo signing out. Goodbye, everyone.